And now it's time for Doug and Carrie to share the vows that they've written for each other. Carrie, we'll begin with you. Um, you know what? I, I, I'll go first. Okay, we'll begin with Doug. Okay. <clears throat> Carrie, when I sat down to write these vows, I was trying to think of how to express exactly what you mean to me. And I guess the best way to say it is, your seconds. <laughs> Allow me to explain. <laughs> it probably won't come as a surprise to you that I, I like to think of my life as a big, long meal. <laughs> All the great things that happened before I met you, my family, my friends, Bruce Springsteen, the Mets, <laughs> they were my first course. But I was, as usual, still hungry. <laughs> and then I met you. You were my seconds. And I know it's hard to believe I'd stop at seconds, but you're so great, and I love you so much, I'm finally totally full. I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say is, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> and now Carrie has some words that she'd like to share. I'm an idiot. For the past couple of days, I convinced myself that I needed a sign from God to marry you, but I don't need that. My sign is the way you make me laugh. My sign is the way you make me feel safe. My sign is the way I fit perfectly under your arm when we're on the couch. I know you can't be sure of anything in life, but looking at you now with your puppy dog eyes and your shiny shoes that I know you can't wait to get out of, <laughs> that we were meant to be together. May Doug and Carrie see long and happy days and be united forever in the kingdom of your glory. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Fasalah. 